Okay, it's May the 22nd. We're gonna take a garden walk through. We're looking at the Cherokee black green bean or purple green bean. Let's take a walk down them real quick. Take a look at them. They go all the way down the fence. Look at that. All the way. All the way down. Okay. And then we're looking at the three rows here of peppers, bell peppers, which don't exist yet. Got a couple over here on the corner. A couple of bell peppers. And then back here in the back, we got three rows of okra. Okra looking all right, I guess. And these Cherokee purples all the way down. Going all the way down. All the way down. Looking this way, we got two rows of potatoes here. But over here, we're following the other side of this fence. Now we got the purple peas coming up. They're looking all right. Everything's direct, direct sowed. Everything. We got these turnip greens down along the fence, which I'm fixing to pull this morning and eat. They look rough. The chickens has killed them and they've grown out and I'm not sure what else. Good. They got big turnips in there and I'm going to pull them this morning and get me one. Eat them. Here you see some turnips in there. This is what you get at on so Salmon there. And of course these potatoes, knocking down the potato aisle. I planted some greens, I hope I make it. These are mustard greens, right here by the turnip greens. Walking on back. Let's go back there and look at the cucumbers. The back of the fence. Birds over are talking to us. Here we go. Cucumbers coming up. There they are. As you can see them all along the fence there. You'll see a little line of cucumbers. I'm going to grow them up on the fence as I go and they'll go all the way to the corner there and grow up on this fence which is about six feet tall yeah this old this is just a little old patch of French breakfast radishes which I like they're man they're really good very very mild so you could you could cut them and eat them with a breakfast or something you know right here I've got I've got onions planted, green onions, but man, I've never had any luck with them. I don't expect <laughs> to grow them. And then here's all my winter stuff. Some lettuce and cabbage coming up. You might see some down there. I don't know. They'll grow. They're, this will be in the shade. It's going to get hot in another month. And these, I'm hoping these will be big enough they'll grow. That I'll get some lettuce off of it. The chickens don't get it. These beds usually don't make it because of the chickens. Let's go check out something else. Here we're gonna look at the bush lima beans. They're all coming up, looks like, a little bit. Got a few didn't make it. I'll plant some seeds in the, in the holy spots. There's a few that came up. There's 
maybe 15 or 20 plants here. You can see them in there. They're not real big. It'll, they're just a couple of days old. Bush lima beans. Yeah. Want to take a look at the tomato plant? Got two rows planted, about 50 to a row. Come through yesterday morning, there was bugs all over them. I had to spray them. They're in there. They look rough right now. But, uh, life, life has its way. Yeah, I mean, they're all through there. You can see them tomato plants. <sighs> Some a little better than others, taking a hold. There's no fertilizer or anything, you know, so it, uh, most definitely, um, it's just slow growing, you know, about 50, 50 to a row in these two rows. This spot down here stays wet. Look at this. Let's see if I can get in on it. This tomato plant, see how black it is? That's from, um, that's from catching mold already, I think. And this is the squash and zucchini row. That came out of the bucket. These are the seeds. We're done. Oh, then clusters of. And then the stick shows the zucchinis. These are zucchinis. And then there's more zucchinis. All right, well, still got to get a few more things planted. Watermelons, sunflowers, some gourds, and not sure what else. Well, all right, it's May the 22nd.